Hey folks, Lee Tiffin here with Tiffin Motorhomes. Excited to launch a new YouTube series we're calling Tiffin Tips. Today I've got a good friend of mine, Corbett Davis here, who is going to help us out on this first installment of Tiffin Tips. So Corbett, tell us what we're going to do today. Sure, Lee. Uh, today we're going to go through a 36 UA Allegro open road motorhome and show you how to winterize and dewinterize the unit. Awesome. And Corbett, your role with the organization? I'm the uh, engineering director over the Class A and Super C programs. And you've been with Tiffin how long? I'm on my 11th year at Tiffin Motorhomes. Awesome. And you know a little bit about everything that goes into the construction and design of a Tiffin motorhome. Fair statement? Fair statement, yes sir. Awesome. Well, let's jump right into it. Let's learn how to winterize a Tiffin Allegro with a Truma system. So the first step is come to your sewer board and make sure that your tank fill is off. So you'll rotate that over to city water. Make sure that your water pump is off. So when the water pump's on, you'll have the red light illuminated and then you'll want to change it from bypass to normal flow. So once you've got those three valves set or two valves in your uh, switch, you'll move over and drain your fresh tank. Okay, the next step, you come with the fresh tank and drain it completely. And then we'll move over to the uh, trim system. All right, so next step, we move to the trim system on the driver's side rear of the coach. So step one is remove the panel. So you ensure that the power switch is off, release the valve, and you will lower the drain gate. So be careful in this step though. Um, water will typically come out of this gate valve whenever you open it, but we don't have any water in the system currently. So on a new motor coach, you can find this located on your refrigerator, but when you're winterizing and dewinterizing, you can locate this just whatever uh, location works best for you. What you'll see here is a homemade system we've got to add pressure to the system. So now that we've drained the fresh water, we want to use air pressure to get the rest of the water out of the system. So the, what we've got here, you've got a garden hose connection with a ball valve on one end, and you've got a regulator on the other. So the regulator is very important. You don't want to put 120 PSI on this thing. You'll, you'll tear up a lot of components in the system. You want to regulate it down to 40 PSI. So you'll, you'll secure this into the city water connection with the valve closed. And once you hook your air up, then you'll then open your valve. So be careful here, the, uh, the Truma system that we just talked about, you'll have additional water coming out of that system. So once all that's going, we'll move back over to the Truma. Okay, now that all the water's out of your system, you'll come back over to the Truma, you'll close the gate valve, release your pressure switch, and then replace the cover. Okay, so now we'll drain the water out of all your appliances, so your refrigerator, your washer, or your dishwasher if equipped. Uh, just starting with the refrigerator, as you can see here, there's a copper, copper hose going to a valve. So you'll loosen that and remove the water from the valve. So now we have the refrigerator line disconnected. We'll move inside the motor home to drain any water from the refrigerator, and then we'll go through a dishwasher and a washing machine cycle to get the rest of the water out. We can now remove the, uh, the hose connection, so you'll turn the valve off. Remove the hose. Okay, then you can, you'll drain your, your low point connections for your hot and cold water. And you will take off your water filter with the tool provided. All right, so typically your filter will be full of water, but since there's no water in this coach, there's not, so you'll, you'll dump the water out and then reinstall. Okay, so now it's time for antifreeze. So there will be a, a white hose located in the sewer of your motorhome. What you'll do, you'll replace the inlet of your pump with this hose, and then you'll put the end of the hose into your antifreeze jug. So looking into the end of the basement, the inlet will be on your left. So it would be a good idea to add thread tape to the fitting. That way the antifreeze isn't leaking as you're running your pump. Okay, now that the hose is in your antifreeze jug, you can turn on the pump. But before you do that, make sure that all of your faucets are closed. If not, your, your pump will run and you'll have antifreeze going on in your, in your sinks. At this point, run a short two minute cycle on your dishwasher and your washing machine. And then open every fixture in your house until you see the pink antifreeze come out. Close the faucets and then you're done.
Thanks, Corbett. That was awesome. Great instructional video on winterizing. It's something we all struggle with because we only do it one time a year. Um, anything you would add as follow-up notes from the shots we just walked through? Uh, yeah, thank you, Lee. Uh, one thing we didn't mention is kind of buttoning everything back up after you're done. Uh, so you will need to reconnect your inlet to your water pump where we have the antifreeze hose going in. Uh, you'll need to reconnect your, your uh, refrigerator uh, and then uh, that's about it. Okay. And then, you know, for the inaugural camping trip every spring, mm -hmm. there's the dewinterization process. Tell us real quickly how you do that. Yeah, dewinterizing is much simpler. So you will go through, you will, you will fill your fresh tank completely and you'll just continuously run systems until you flush that antifreeze out of your coach. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you all for joining us for the first episode of Tiffin Tips. We'll see you next time.